God, over 30 years since the 70s. He brings the music out and people come and just enjoy themselves. One of the skaters um, um, said like, um, well, what's, what, what's going on? Like, uh, why is um, everyone, why is everyone like sitting around? Oh, we're, we're, wait, we're waiting for like, we're waiting for like D. Who's D? He's, he, he's the godfather of skating. Every Sunday morning, I wake from skating all Saturday night at the roller rink, and then I immediately go down to the van, start taking all the stuff out from the party the night before, start putting all the stuff in for the stereo, and uh, my wife and I, we search for parking, we put the stereo, all the stuff on wheels, and we roll it here into the park, and we greet all our friends, they're generally already, most of them are here, uh, and we start to boogie and have a good time. This is the greatest example of what a park's supposed to be like. And uh, it's all totally by accident. No one intended, I didn't intend to come out here, hey, I'm gonna skate, I'm gonna be the greatest skater guy, whatever that is. To the left, back. Take Hands it back flat. now, y'all. Hands out and jump. One this time. One up this time. Reverse. 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 Slide to the left. I mean, you look around, most of these people have absolutely nothing else in common except they hear some music playing and they see some people having a great time and it draws them in. And the demographics are basically a little bit of everybody from everywhere. I mean, we have people come from out of town because they know this is our spot. There's no rinks in San Francisco, so this is our rink. So when people come to San Francisco and want to know what the, or see the dance scene, they pretty much come to Golden Gate Park. It actually allows people who've never skated to come in and skate. You know, it's not just for skaters, it's, all, it's open to anybody. It's a family. It means that everyone, doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, everyone can get together and skate. I'm always willing to teach people. Well, I, I'm hoping 30 years from now people will say, hey, Richard Humphrey put, you know, set something in place that will be around for a long time. So that's what I love to do. He's our, he's our skating coach. He's our skating teacher. Walk to the right. Kick. Step. Step to the left. I teach over like 250 different dance steps, so you know it's like a lot of stuff to learn. Some of it could be overwhelming, but for the most part, it's a lot of fun, and this is what keeps me in shape. I think because of my age, which is 75, and the fact that I have an artificial hip and I have a pig valve in my heart, is a testament to other people who are getting older that they should get out and move around. We've really created a great skate scene. And it's a part of San Francisco now. It's, I mean, we're not the Golden Gate Bridge or Fisherman's Wharf, but when you come to Golden Gate Park, this is one of the things that make you really wish you lived here. Well, I live in Santa Cruz, and there are skaters in Santa Cruz, but nothing like here. This is just the most fun. I believe in the concept that this was a place where you're supposed to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life and enjoy yourself in a green environment. I'll take it back. And as you get closer to this group, you feel more of a, a real positive vibe that you want to be a part of. And it's free, it's inclusive, it's, it's anything you really want it to be for you. I feel very blessed about it, because hard times, you know. This is one of the places you can get away from them hard times. People appreciate that. <laughs>